another video it's a girl Vaughn I actually have a makeup today but I don't not too sure if you can really see it I want to see today so we're gonna have to have the glasses on as you can see by the title today I'm gonna be showing you guys some new deep conditioners the video is gonna be a mix between like a product haul slash product stash slash somewhat of a review for some of the products because I have had a chance to try some of them so I'm definitely gonna let you know my first impressions thoughts on some of them but yeah basically I made it a mission to complete and finish out all the conditioners that I had with the intention of buying and getting new ones to try to see if I could find some new favorites new things that my hair enjoys and likes so when we get into the video of course I did not buy all of these things at one time you guys some of you might know the prices of some of the products and look at this video in shock but I did not buy them all at one time so it wasn't didn't feel you know like a lot but anyway that's besides the point but one thing I would say I am glad that I made this decision to try new things because uh, particularly with one product it really showed me that my hair was missing out on some love for a little while and so this was a really good idea and I am excited to continue trying them and see how it works right so without further ado let's get straight into the video so I have a total of seven deep conditioners here. The prices do, I would say the prices kind of range, but they really don't. They, there's one that's kind of like affordable, and then it just jumps up into the past $100 TT, right? So we're gonna do the conditioners I haven't tried. Just talk about them a little bit, and then we're gonna do the conditioners that I have tried. But I'm really looking at it, it's only three two of them that I haven't tried that was more anyway so the first one we're going to talk about is the Camille Rose Johnson's Moisture Max Conditioner this is with coconut milk and aloe vera um, doing a quick scan of the ingredients a quick scan of the ingredients there's nothing but moisture in here I'm not seeing any protein whatsoever so this will classify as a moisturizing deep conditioner again it just has quite a lot of this is the first conditioner I've actually seen that says to leave the conditioner in your hair for 35 minutes usually they just all say like 5 and 10 like who oh wait but this one says 35 anyway so this has let's see coconut milk aloe vera um coconut oil cocoa butter shea butter jojoba oil sweet almond oil olive oil castor seed oil grape seed oil evening primrose oil rosehip oil marshmallow root extract horse tail leaf extract nettle leaf extract bedrimonium methosulfate which i think is a moisture um, components I'll confirm across the screen here citaril citaril alcohol is moisture um, peppermint oil vitamin E phenol phenoxethanol I'm not too sure about that one and uh, love so literally that's the whole ingredient list and that is literally all moisture I have not tried this one yet yet it does give you that coconut milk smell I'm not the biggest fan of coconuts, but it does smell good. Um, and this is only about eight ounces. So as my hair grows up, I can see myself depending on. Let's see. So it does have a bit of a thick consistency. Now, of course, I could only tell you how it feels right now, but it does feel like it'll feel good in my hair. And I am excited to try it because that's just a whole lot of moisture. I could just imagine how my hair feels after using this now why did i even buy this one i can tell you i saw one of my hair influencers essence on instagram her name is underscore a coop um she posted about the other camille rose conditioner that we're gonna get into just now and i just saw her use it i'm not even sure if she said anything too much about it she probably said that it was like good or she liked it except that the label on that one was blue Next time I went to Pennywise, I remembered that I wanted to pick up that conditioner. However, I saw this one. There's no blue on the label anywhere. But I still picked it up thinking it was that one. And then by the time I got home, I was like, yeah, this wasn't it. <laughs> but anyway, still excited to try it. And of course, 
I will let you guys know how I feel about it as I mentioned before I do believe that your hair responds to the same products differently depending on the state of your hair at that time I have tried conditioners that my hair fell in love with it felt great and I'll get into that with an another one of these products here and then the second time it may not have felt the same so based on the moisture protein balance that your hair is having at any given time in my experience your hair can respond differently also I feel personally there may be something going on with the water in my new apart in my apartment so I do feel like I might need to get a filter for the shower head to really adequately tell you about that so let's get into the second Camille Rose conditioner and this is the maximum hydration coconut water penetrating hair treatment for con it's a concentrated rinse out conditioner okay for silky soft hair I don't that's interesting I don't think I've ever read those words in one sentence on a product a concentrated rinse out conditioner so basically that's giving me the vibe that this is supposed to be in a bottle but they put it in a that's interesting let me know what you think about that below so this is the conditioner that essence was using that i should have picked up um i mean when i picked up this one i didn't see this one so that's probably why i still went with this one but as time went on and i went back to pennywise they had this so i picked it up again this is more coconut coconut water this one still has that faint smell of coconut but it's not as coconutty but whatever anyway let's look at these ingredients water coconut water safflower seed oil bentramonium metal sulfate cetyl alcohol which are both moisturizing components bentramonium chloride i think is again i'll confirm um palm kernel oil aloe leaf juice coconut oil cocoa seed butter argan oil sunflower seed oil almond oil horse tail extract okay and here we have well i have to confirm what a horse tail extract is let me see like what is that because i really don't know supposedly helps to improve hair growth speed and strength so is it protein is it moisture i don't know so we have a hydrogenated vegetable oil well vegetal or is that what a vegetable so i guess we're still in the oil some kind of flour tiare flour avocado oil mojo seed oil marshmallow root extract i think the marshmallow is hydrating moisturizing nettle leaf all right and here we have hydrolyzed keratin which is all the way down at the end pantanol something else something else something else scent and love so there's only one real protein in here which is the hydrolyzed keratin and that's all the way down at the bottom so that from what we know about ingredients and ranking in an in an ingredient list that means that there's really not much of this hydro hydrolyzed keratin in here so there's really not much of any protein in here so i would still classify this as a moisture rising conditioner the first conditioner is a little bit thicker than this one but again i can only let you know how it goes when i use it so so far we have two moisturizing conditioners and those are the two that i have not used so we'll just get into the last camille rose conditioner and this will carry us into the section where I have used the products. Apparently, this feeling like a Camille Rose haul. Anyway, so the last one is the Algae Renew Deep Conditioning Mask, and this is this has cocoa and mango butter. It's a vitamin pack, moisturizing and strengthening treatment infused with blue green algae. And then once we get to the ingredients, again we have deionized de water, aloe vera juice. Shea butter, coconut oil, bentramonium methyl sulfate, cetyl alcohol, which are both proof, I mean moisture components, um, something else, BTMS, I know what that is, cocoa butter, mango seed butter, hemp seed oil, DL pantanol, I don't know, sounds moisturizing, manuka honey, vegetable glycerin, which is hydrating, because glycerin is a 
I want a lot of components. <laughs> Green tea extract, jojoba seed oil, rose fruit oil, grape, grape seed oil, evening primrose oil, um, the blue green algae, which they said is, what did they say about that? Strengthening, so I guess that has some kind of protein um, component to it. MSM, don't know what that is. Then we have biotin all the way down at the bottom here. Vitamin E after that, peppermint oil after that, then scent and love. Now, as you heard from me reading all the ingredients, it's a lot of moisture components in here. And even if we were to con you know to consider the protein that's in here, the biotin is like the fourth to last ingredient. And uh, was that the only one? Besides the blue green algae, that's the only real like protein in here. Um, so this will be considered a moisturizing deep conditioner. I did see on a random like photo thing. This one smells completely different. It smells good. Like you can smell the mango, the cocoa. I can smell the cocoa. In the butter it smells so good from the ingredients this one is giving you like straight moisture with the exception of the biotin down in the bottom which this one has however well two points this one is considered to be a moisturizing deep conditioner again based on the ingredient list you would agree however i did see it on like a little infographic that i'll insert here where it was considered to be a light protein and I've used this, I think, one time, either once or twice, but definitely one time. <laughs> and when I used it in my hair, it did feel, it did give me that protein vibe. It felt good going in my hair, felt good, you know, soft, etc. on my hair. Um, you know, sometimes for conditioners, you could put it in your hair and it's just like, what is this going to do? Did not have that experience also upon washing it out you can also experience well where's the conditioner did not really experience that like i was a bit on the fence when i washed out this conditioner like i was between two tools i was like is my feeling good do i need a little bit moisture like what's going on so at that time i actually went in with another moisturizing deep conditioner just because it wasn't you know feeling as moisturized as i would like my hair to feel when before i come out of the shower and that when I did the moisturizing deep conditioner afterwards, that then brought my hair to the feeling that I like to feel. So in my hair for that first time, it definitely did give me a protein vibe. Um, not the softest that my hair has felt with a uh, moisturizing deep conditioner. But again, not everything works the same way in everybody. So that was just my first impression of this. It wasn't horrible. Um, it was good, but it wasn't great especially thinking about it as a moisturizing deep conditioner wasn't giving me that vibe if i consider this as more so like a very light protein um then that's how i would feel about this one so based on my experience i would go in with a moisturizing deep conditioner after use but again like i mentioned before i definitely would try it again and keep you guys updated as to how i feel about it I'm gonna go into this one because remember, keep in mind I said this is a supposedly a moisturizing deep conditioner, has been mentioned to be like a light protein deep conditioner, felt like a protein conditioner in my hair, um, had some moisturizing aspect, like it didn't leave my hair feeling hard, hard, um, but it didn't leave my hair feeling the softest of soft, right? Which brings me to the next conditioner. This is the Brio Geo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. The three before I got all of... I was gonna say, yeah, I got all of those uh, in Pennywise. This one I actually bought off of Sephora because it's not available here. Um, this was definitely an influence by another hair influencer. Her name is Militress V on Instagram. She has really nice, long, relaxed hair and she loves this conditioner so i was just like nah the way she loves this i it have to be good so i bought it the last time oh, it smells so good so i bought it in the spring saving sales for her because this is not a cheap this is like a 38 us size this is not even the biggest size this is an eight fluid ounce eight fluid ounce and this is like 38 us it smells so clean Anyway, so I've used this 
twice at this point, right? Let me just go through the ingredients with you guys. It's kind of a lot of ingredients, but let's just go as quickly as possible. So there's water, acetyl alcohol, which I, it sounds different, but I think that is um, moisturizing. Sterile alcohol, avocado oil, sweet almond oil, rose, canina, fruit oil, argan, I think that's argan oil, aloe, leaf juice, panthenol, um, we have a radish, radish, root ferment, filtrate, I know that's. Anyway, so just in there, we then go into biotin, hydrolyzed corn protein, hydrolyzed wheat protein, hydrolyzed soy protein, some ginseng root extract, um, some of the flour and leaf extract, some palm, is there an English version? Because this doesn't seem to be English. Um, something else, cetyl esters, something else, ceteral alcohol after that, pentamonium salt, metal sulfate after that. Yeah, so basically from what you get, did you hear how many proteins I call everything? Hydrolyzed protein, there's quite a lot of protein in here, right? So this is a protein deep conditioner. So I expected this to make my hair feel like a protein deep conditioner does sometimes hard on needing a moisturizing deep conditioner afterwards. The first time I used this, I was living by my parents' house. Oh, I used this in two different environments, right? The first time I used this by my parents' house, I was in love with this, like literally, I was um, working it into my hair and I did not want to stop. It just felt so good as I was working it into my hair, it just felt like my hair was just soaking it all up and just loving the experience. And then even after I washed up my hair, like it was just great, I added in my leave-ins and at this point I had a lot of new growth and even down to the new growth was feeling good, like everything, it just felt so good, so soft, so moisturized, I loved. That wash day was a great wash day, right? So that was then. But then, the second time that I used it, I didn't have that same in love experience and that was hair. And so that's why I kind of feel like if the water hair is a little bit different, um, because like it wasn't horrible. My hair still felt okay. I don't think I went in with another moisturizing conditioner after that, but it just wasn't, you know, the same experience. And so either it's just how my hair was at that time, like maybe it was in a different state to receive the, the love, or it might actually be the water hair. Another thing my hairdresser said is that sometimes, again, depending on the state of your hair, a protein conditioner can actually react really well and make your hair feel soft because possibly at that time that's what your hair really needed. And so maybe, maybe it was such that, you know, my hair had enough protein and then given it this was a little bit overboard. But honestly, I feel like it's more so the water. <laughs> um, but I have in here about like one, you can't really see. I have like one more use in here, so that'll make it three times. And that will more so work with my hair right now before it gets too grown out. But the way my hair reacted to this when I first tried it, like I would repurchase it just because of that. But again, I'll keep you guys updated as to how the next use goes. Follow me on Instagram because I'm not gonna make a whole video about it unless well, I feel compelled to, but as of right now, if you want to stay updated as to how I feel about any of these products, join me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. It's very easy for me to talk to you about products over there, um, to tell you about a specific wash day or whatever the vibe. Where's all the light? Right, so we have three more conditioners to talk about. Let's get into this. Um, this is a moisturizing deep conditioner. It says, so hair, this is the TGIN Miracle Repair Deep Hydrating Hair Mask with Black Honey and Coconut Oil. That sounds like a lot of moisture, right? So let's go into the ingredients. Water, raw black honey. Honey is a moisturizing agent um, for the hair. Olive oil, agave extract, papaya extract, ginger root extract, 
Manoi flower extract, acai fruit extract, marula seed oil, jojoba seed oil, aloe vera, coconut oil, sterile, sterile alcohol, cetyl alcohol, which are both moisturizing components, steramidopropyl, dimethylamine, not sure about that one, glycerin fragrance, and uh, cyclopentasiloxane, don't know about that, and one dimethicone. So again, no protein things in here. I used this one time and with it just gives you straight moisture vibe. And honestly, for the moisture vibe it was pushing, my hair didn't get that. Um, and I think I used this by my parents, so it's, I wouldn't be able to say maybe it's a water issue. Um, but this it didn't really knock me off my feet, you know. I was just kind of underwhelmed from that first use and until I haven't used it since not because I don't want to use it but just because like I have all these other things to try um but I definitely need to give this one another try because I just was not impressed that first time so maybe another time it will have a better effect on my hair and I'll be a bit more you know into it um the honey what is it the is it the honey hydrating mask or something so from TGIN that one works really well I did use that one before um, and so based off of that given that this is all of this hydrating and moisturizing energy I thought it would have been like on the same level or even better but I wasn't really too impressed by it but like I said things can change we'll see how it goes we have two more to talk about. The next one is the Olaplex number no. 8. This is the Bond Intense Moisture Mask. Um, this is also quite expensive because it's $28 for this little bottle, which is 3.3 fluid ounces. Ingredients water, dimethicone, cetyl alcohol, avocado oil, glycerin, sterile alcohol, some ethyl hexyl olivate, benjaminium chloride, cetrimonium bromide. Metal foam seed oil, I don't know what that is. Rice bran oil sounds protein to me. Rose hip seed extract, ceramide, ceramide, hydrolyzed, and over esters. A lot of safflower seed oil, hemp seed oil, al glycine, alanine, serine, valine, isoleucine, proline, threonine. Those sound like a lot of amino acids. Um, you guys, there's a lot of ingredients in here and a lot of it's like scientific, but basically if Olaplex says this is, there's no protein in here, then I believe them. There's no protein in here, right? So I used this one one time. It was a good experience. I don't think, again, that I was blown away, but it did leave my hair feeling moisturized and acceptable. Didn't need to go in with anything additional afterwards. And so it was a good experience. I'm not throwing it away. I will continue to use it because, I mean, I do have it. Um, but of course as time goes on I will be able to let you know if I would actually like to purchase it like what oh it's raining that's what you want to do I have a purchase stick yeah but I will let you know if I really feel the need to repurchase it but I mean it was a good experience the first time I used it it did leave my hair feeling moisturized um, and soft but again not blowing completely away I just feel honestly I feel like if my water is impacting how I feel about these things but let's get into the last one which is the most affordable of them all and this is the ORS olive oil max moisture super softening deep treatment conditioner infused with rice water and electrolytes um, off the back rice water everybody was using rice water to help with um, I think either growth or shedding and they're like you also kind of want to be careful with the rice water don't overdo it because it does have like a protein of an element of protein so I never personally tried that what rice water thing like with literal rice water um, but this has been out for a while the, these new products have been out for a while and they finally reached a trend that so I decided I'll give them a try so let's go into the ingredients we have water coconut oil isopropyl meristate I don't know about that citaril alcohol glycerin lanolin Benjamin metal sulfate, propylene glycol, glycerol, stearate, PPG, something, olive oil, something, dimethicone, something, something. Then we have hydrolyzed collagen, castor seed oil, ceramide. 
I don't have the camera just cut off. I don't know where we got to, but basically <laughs> there's biotin all the way down at the bottom of the ingredient list. And so based off of these ingredients, oh right, there were some proteins higher up. Um the silk protein and the vegetable protein. So I would say based off of that, I would give this what would I say this is? But I give this moisture with protein, when I give this like protein, it's given more moisture than protein vibe, especially sit given that there's only two little proteins there. But it is kind of high up, so I would say that the protein level in this is kind of significant. Um, this has a lot of claims in terms of, let's see, richly moisturizes, strengthens and restores, delivering superior hair hydration for super nourishing, super soft strands while promoting healthy hair with rice water electrolytes, olive oil and proprietary oligo complex. We have a thought. Restore softness and smooth, seals and intense hydration and enhances moisture retention, nourishes to improve elasticity and strength. Delivers super slip detangling, protects against breakage, revitalizes to promote healthy hair. You see that line? Super slip detangling. I expected this to give that super slip detangling because I have the leave-in conditioner from this line and that has such good slip. Like, oh my god, if I had curly hair, well, when, I, when my hair is being stretched, yeah, I have curly hair, but like if I only had curly hair on my head, I could imagine how that leave-in conditioner would feel like it would feel so good so given that from the leave-in conditioner I kind of expected this to have a very like soft slippery consistency when in truth and in fact this thing real tech like I it, I mean it's good eh? but given how that leave-in conditioner felt I really and truly expected it to be a little bit well, not as thick as that and um, definitely, you know, a little bit more slippery. So on application onto the head wasn't the slippery, slipperiest of them all for me. But it did, of course, help with the detangling process. Um, and even upon washing it out, it didn't like completely leave my hair. There's my hair still felt, you know, good. Did I go in with anything after this? No, I don't think you know. I don't think I went in with anything after this. So I was concerned about it giving my hair that protein, hard, well, hard protein kind of vibe. But it didn't leave my hair feeling. I don't think it left my hair feeling like it needed it. Plus, it wasn't the best of it wasn't the best of wash days, honestly. Like I really just did like a speed wash day. Just threw it in. I didn't do my roller set. I air dry my hair so it wasn't the best and my hair doesn't really do well with air drying so to say um, I didn't like how my hair felt when it dried I can't really I mean I could say that but it wouldn't be all based off of the product alone because I did not do what my hair better responds to in terms of that drying process with a ruler set Alright, um, so this one definitely needs a second try um, because I didn't give it my all <laughs> when i use this product also there is a lot of product in here and so for the cost which i think was like 80 something dollars well i saw it recently in super farm for 89 dollars so it's probably just a little bit cheaper than that in penny wise but for that price you get a lot of product in here and compared to the other conditions i showed you guys in this video this is the cheapest one and this has the most product of them all so this one is a good buy, I just really have to give it another chance and really like pay attention to what it does for my hair. But it was not horrible first experience, right? There are some conditioners when I put them in my hair and then I wash it out, like I'm doing my wash day and I wash it out, it's just like I'm never using that again. But none of these gave me that vibe, so that is one a good thing. No money wasted hair just yet. So I'm very happy about that because like I told you guys, most of these things are over 100 TT except for the ORS one. So, so far so good with the conditioners that I have tried. Again, I've only not tried two of them. That is pretty much it for the product haul slash review of all of my deep conditioners. Well, all of my new deep conditioners because I do have about two or three others that are pretty much staples in my hair care stash. I am thinking about doing like a product stash regarding my hair stuff, which will include literally my shampoos, conditioners. Well, 
I wouldn't go through all of this again because we already did this video. Um, but my shampoos, conditioners, any moisturizers and oils that I may have. So if you guys want to see a video like that, then let me know down below. I will be, of course, willing to do it. But yeah, this is pretty much all the conditioners that I have right now. So far, so good enough with most of them. And like I said, I will continue to update you guys as to how I feel about them with continued use. Let you know if any of them, you know, elevate to fave status, repurchase status. So let me know in the comments if you have any of these, if you've been looking for any of these, wanting to try. If you've tried it, let me know how it works for you on your hair. If you've enjoyed this video, let me know by dropping a like on the video. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, then make sure you hit that subscribe button right there. And while you are at it, just turn on the notification bell. So the next time I post a video, you will be notified that bonus back with another video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!